Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In my previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to turn your Raspberry Pi 3 into a personal cloud storage using OnCloud. I also showed you how to mount an external hard drive for additional storage capacity. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up that drive to another external hard drive plugged in to that Raspberry Pi. We'll be using rsync to sync the information from one drive to another. First thing we need to do is create a directory so we can mount that new drive to that directory. So enter sudo mkdir forward slash media forward slash on cloud backup and hit enter. Now let's apply proper permissions. You can copy and paste all these commands from my website the link is in the description box below. Then we would need the UID and GID of the user www-data by entering the following. This here is the GID, then the UID. Now we need to list the disk by UUID. This uh, UUID pertains to the already mounted external hard drive being used by the Raspberry Pi on cloud. The UUID on top, this one here, is uh, pertains to the newly plugged in external hard drive. This will be the backup. We need to make a note of this UUID because we're going to need it to edit the FS tab. I'm going to clear here and run sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash FS tab and hit enter. Notice here underneath this line pertains to the already mounted external hard drive. All we need to do is just copy the exact same line and make a few changes. Notice here it says forward slash media forward slash on cloud backup. Now we will need to change the access to the UUID of the uh, newly plugged in external hard drive. Also, I wanted to mention remember when we run the GID and UID, it, be, it goes here. So if you get a different number, you need to add it here and on top here other than 33 once done control x y enter to save let's reboot so enter the following command upon reboot we need to make sure that the external hard drive is properly mounted to the backup directory so enter sudo space ls forward slash media forward slash own cloud backup and hit enter. It's properly mounted. This TXT, I'm sorry, this uh, test to that TXT, it's a uh, text I created back when the hard drive was plugged into a Windows computer. Now we can run the same command for own cloud drive. It'll give us the uh, own cloud uh, information or files, I'm sorry. We need to back everything inside on cloud backup. It'll create a directory in there and then it'll back up all the information. I'm going to clear here and install rsync. So enter the following command sudo apt get install rsync. It'll most likely be installed. Yes, it is. Now run. Uh, the following command sudo space cron, cron, cron tab space dash e the first time you use it this will come up now use select the second option uh, forward slash bin forward slash nano which is the easiest and then press enter using the arrow keys go all the way down to edit this uh, cron tab here, I'm going to add a line that says it'll create a backup 
every day at 11 o'clock at night. If you look right on top, it'll give you an example of how the line is written. This means that it's going to back up every day at 11 o'clock and it's going to copy on cloud drive to on cloud, uh, on cloud backup. This delete doesn't mean that it's going to delete any information. This means that if you delete a picture or a file from on cloud, it'll delete it from the backup as well, keeping a mirror image of the directories. That's all. Once done, control X, Y, enter to save. And from there on, we'll be creating a backup every day at 11 o'clock. All these can be changed so you can choose a different hour. If you want to run a backup immediately, you can run this line. I'm sorry, I forgot to add the sudo word. So sudo and then rsync av delete media on cloud drive to media on cloud backup. Once done, you'll see all the information sent total size and it was received and everything. Now if you want to be a hundred percent sure that the uh, information was completely copied you can enter the following sudo ls space l space for slash media for slash on cloud backup remember we're in the backup notice that there's a on cloud drive now added to this backup directory by pressing the app arrow key it'll bring up the previous command so enter for slash on cloud drive to list whatever is in there. If you notice here, we got only one user, which is avoid errors. If you have multiple users, it'll bring up all the users. Again, the app up arrow key and then for slash avoid errors to see what's in there. Here we have cache files and thumbnails. Again, the app arrow key, let's go into the files to see if our documents and pictures are there. Yes, they are. So now again, up arrow key, let's see if all the pictures are there. So forward slash photos. Remember, we are in the on cloud, I'm sorry, in yes, on cloud backup directory. And yes, the three default images are there, Paris, Paris, San Francisco, and Squirrel. Now we want to check from the on cloud drive to see if it has the same content. So I'll, all I'm gonna do is remove the um, on cloud backup here from the line and hit enter and it should come up with the exact same information yep there it is it's exactly the same thank you for watching this video my name is miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you